okay, you got your free list building tool. And the free list building tool was a page peel ad. So here's the page peel ad, and all I have to do is take my cursor and go near that top corner, and it opens up like so, and you have things underneath. These things that are underneath, you can change the graphic. It's clickable. You can have even a form in here for people to fill out. It's just like another website underneath your first website. And then if they click, if they move their cursor away from it, it peels back up and your, your original website shows like so. Open, close. Okay, so we're going to talk about how to install that page peel ad. If you have a website you want to put it on and you have cPanel hosting, you'll be able to just follow along. Um, here we go. You click on File Manager. Make sure that the the little radio tick is ticked on web root, public HTML, and it's, it's you've got the website you want to put it up on right in there. And click on Go. Here we are in File Manager. And I'm just going to navigate to where I've made a website for us to put this up on. Okay, I made a file called Peel and I made a website to put it up on. Here's the website. This is my test website. Okay, we're going to put a little peel ad here in the right hand corner. So the first thing we have to do is upload it in its zipped version. If you've unzipped it, don't, um, don't upload all that unzipped stuff unless you want to FTP it up there. You can do that as well. But what I do, because I don't like to go through all the hassle of logging in with FTP. So that's uploading and it will just take a second. 100% complete. Back to home. So here it is uploaded and we need to first extract it. So I'm going to click on it, make it blue, go up to extract and click on that and extract the files. I get a whole list of these files. I just close that to get it out of the way. And here I have new and old. You just have new. So I'll go ahead and delete the old. There we go. That's what it should look like for you. Now, what we need to do is take all the files in this folder called new. So I'll open up that folder by double clicking on it. And then I go up to select all move file. Then it says it's going to move it into the same file. We don't want that. So I just backspace a couple times to get rid of the word new. There we go. And click on move files. There. Now all the files have disappeared out of the folder called new. I click on up one level. And there they are in the main folder along with my website. Now, these files have to be in the folder with your website in order for this to work properly. So, the next thing you need to do is just take a little piece of code, and we'll get that code by clicking on Instructions and View. Now, I'll just move the window over here so you can see, and scroll down just a little bit, and here's the code right here. I'll highlight the code. It's really easy to figure out where the code is because it starts with begin and ends with end code. And I copy that. And close this. That's all you need. Okay, then I go to my website. My website is called index.html. Most websites usually are. And I click on that and go up to edit. Okay, so um, here's the HTML for my website. Now just above the body where it says, um, it says body here. I'll, I'll highlight that so you can see it. It says body there, and then it says slash body here. This forward slash means and, so that's where the body ends. Now just before the body ends, I'm going to place my cursor there, and I'm just going to paste. Okay, now I only want the top right peel away code. So this is the top left peel away code here. I'm going to delete that. 
and this is the bottom left peel away code. I'll delete that. And the bottom right peel away code. I'll delete that. Okay, so that's all the script. Here, I'll highlight this so it's easy to see. That's all the script that is left that I, that I put in there. Let's see what happened. We'll save the changes. Let's see. I go up here to Save Changes, click on that, and go back to File Manager. Let's see what happened when we look at the website. I'm going to go to my website and refresh. And let me help you over here. Here's the page peel ad in the corner. Now it doesn't have the graphic that I want. That's okay. I can change that later. So I've got the I've succeeded in installing the page peel code up there. But um, well, if you look at this website, really we wanted it right here in this corner, didn't we? So you can experiment by going to peel tr for peel top right dot js. Okay, we're going to select this and click on edit. And here are the variables that you can configure. You can set the top placement value. Now I noticed that that was down just a few pixels, so I'm going to put it down about five pixels. Set the right side placement value. Um, this would be about maybe 350 pixels. I put 360. You'll just have to experiment. Keep moving it around until it gets to the right place. Okay? And to set the image files, just change these images. And you'll have to put an image file in there with it, and then you'll be able to change the images. So whatever image you want, put a JPEG file in there, um, in that folder with it, and then change this. Images covers is the little teeny square that you see when it's closed. Images uncovers is the main large image. Okay? Um, set the font size of the text scrolling on the smaller flash. Set the font size scrolling on the larger flash. You can change all these things. Here's the, uh, here's the text scrolling on the bigger flash. It says click here to get this offer. Just to show that it works, let's change this to this page peel ad is cool. And we'll see that that's changed. Okay, and 70 is a pretty large font. I think that's kind of invasive. I'm going to change it to 50. Okay, you can set colors. Just change the things right in here and things will change. I'll go up here again to save changes. And let's look at our website and see how it has changed now. I'll refresh. Okay, 360 was too big of a number. I probably needed about 300. And uh, so I just need to keep working with that, keep changing it to see, and, and eventually I'll have it right here on the corner. Now let's open it up. Look, it says, this page peel ad is cool across the top, and it's a, much, it's a little bit smaller font. You can change the color of that. You can change the picture, anything that you like to do. So there you go. You know how to install it. And uh, one other thing you need to know, um, I think I wrote that in the instructions there, but if this image is about 750 by 750, or even a little bit wider, 750 by 800 is just perfect. It fits in here just right. So, And uh, yes, the reflection here, that changes automatically. So whatever picture you put in here, you'll have the reflection of it on here. It's kind of cool. So uh, enjoy, and let me know if you have any trouble doing that. Talk to you again soon. Bye.